Well, when I was in high school, I dealt with a bully. His name was Otis, so that's what I'm gonna call the story, Otis. Um, Otis was not your, I was in ninth grade. Otis was not your everyday, regular ninth grader. He was like 17 years old, first off. <laughs> About like 250 pounds, like 6'2". He was massive. He was a scary, just a really hard looking dude. Like, you know, just, he just, just, you ever see a Western where they take a match and they strike that shit off somebody's face like, <laughs> You could do that shit with Otis. He was just like, that's how rugged he was. He was just aggressively unattractive motherfucking dude. The scary dude, terrifying. We had study hall together. And every day in study hall, this dude would do something to just kind of just let me know that I was his bitch. He was just really just very just he, just, he just fucked with me for no reason. He just walked over, he would just be like, you're in my seat. And I'm like, okay, I'll move over here. No, that's my seat too. Get out of my seat, pretty boy. Get your little pretty, get your little sexy ass out of my seat. I'm like, okay, I don't know where this is going, but I'm fucking terrified, so I'm moving. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll stand in the back. I'll read my book in the back standing. Okay, so yeah. This went on for about like half a year. I told my dad about it. You know, my dad, I told my dad that I was dealing with a bully situation, but um, he's much larger than me, and usually I, I wasn't scared to fight people, but I was terrified of this dude, so I told my dad this. My dad, he was old school. My dad, first off, my dad grew up during like the civil rights movement. So like, he's been through all kinds of like real deal struggle. Like my dad, when my dad, is, like, when my dad was my age, he wasn't even black, he was a Negro. Like he lived through every name change we've had as a people. <laughs> Yo, that shit was like, so he was not really just like, he was, he had no sympathy for my concerns of being much smaller than this dude, being like a light skinned black dude who bruises easily. And like all the, all the reasons I have to not want to fight. My dad had no sympathy for that, any of that shit. So he was just like, son, you gotta stand up to this bully. You gotta fight that man. You gotta stand up, you gotta fight that man. If you, if you don't fight him, when you come home, you gotta fight me. So I was like, dad, with all due respect, bring it, bitch. Yeah. I was like, man, I am not fighting Otis. That motherfucker's huge. You are, you are closer to my size so, and, and you're, and you're a chain smoker, so I got a much better chance fighting you. But I don't know. Fast forward, um, a few weeks later, uh, you know, I'm in school, still trying to avoid Otis at every turn, and I'm walking down the hallway, and the best thing that could ever happen to me in my ninth grade life happened. This beautiful senior, her name was Lily. She was like, I'm in ninth grade, she's a senior. She walks up to me and just starts flirting with me in the hallway. It was the best day of my ninth grade life. I felt so great. I was like, wow, she's beautiful and she named that a flower. Oh my God, Lily's flirting with me. Oh, this is so, oh my God, she just running her fingers through my little 1990s fade and shit. I felt so, God, I was like, what you doing for the rest of forever? I was like, I just, I was in, I felt so good in this moment. And Otis ruined that shit. He was standing, he was behind me in the hallway. And he slapped the shit out of the back of my head like while I'm walking with, with Lily, that shit was, it pissed me off. I was like, you know what, this is the day we're gonna fight. I was like, this is like, that was the, that was my breaking point. I was like, you know what, I don't care how much bigger you are. Like, Otis, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm, I, this is, this is, this ends today. We're gonna fight, so we get back to study hall. And, you know, he's still arguing, he's still talking shit. I'm on top of a desk, let's just making fun of him and shit. You know, we're just joning on him. That's how, like, you know, it's just basically, it got to a point where he was ready to fight me because I was making fun of him and so, there was a guy in study hall named Nate, and he says, if y'all are gonna fight, go to the shop class. I said, why would we go to shop class? He said, the teacher is never there, you can get away with it, so go to shop class. I was like, fuck it, let's go to shop class. Let's go right now. Somehow between me saying that and us leaving study hall, half the school <laughs> followed us to shop class. I'm still talking shit and everything. I'm still like, man, I'm gonna fuck you up, Otis. I'm talking all this shit. And we get to shop class, and I look up, and I notice that half the school has followed us, and that's when reality set in that I'm about to fight someone much larger than me, and I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked. So I, was, I, got, I got scared. But then I looked over in the, the office area. The shop class teacher was in his office. I was like, oh yeah, this is great. He's, he's not gonna let us fight. He's gonna stop this shit. <laughs> he sees all these students surrounding us, and he sees me and he sees Otis, and he looks over at Otis, looks at me, just does this, shakes his head, <laughs> and he closed the blinds, like. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. I am, oh my God, I'm gonna die in this bitch today, but you know, but it was so, it was, it was, I had to do something. Everybody saw all the shit I was talking, so I was like, you know what, I have to just keep this going. 
I can't just bitch up Napoli. Oh, you know what? Please forgive me. I had to. I had to keep fighting. So I keep putting the show on. I'm talking all this shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Hey, he's a bitch. He's a big ass bitch. And I'm just like, you know, I turned my back for one second. Like I was almost at the point where I was doing like the Hulk Hogan pose down, just like. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't take it that far. But I was almost there. And so I turned my head for like a split second. And Otis punched me right in the back of my head. And I didn't fall down, but I ain't gonna lie, I had a knot that looked like I was growing another head. He hit me hard as shit. Like, I was probably concussed, but you know, we didn't know about that back in those days. So I was like, I just turned around, because I was, that made me even more mad. So I turned around, I started punching him. I started hitting him, I started just like hitting him like Rocky on the side of beef in the, the first movie, just like, I'm just giving him everything I got. So it looked really impressive. But I know, and Otis knows that none of those punches actually hurt. Like, I might have tickled him a little bit, but you know, he, he barely moved while I'm just unloading on him. So it just looked, it was, oh my God. It's like, I'm just so glad that my friends on the basketball team pulled us apart because it looked so good that I never had to fight again in high school. Like, Otis actually tried to be my friend after that. He's like, yeah, you got a heart, little nigga. And I was like, all right, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I was like, all right, well, well, I don't know how to feel about this, but as long as you're not gonna kick my ass, thank you, Otis. All right, so, I don't know. So, I just say all this to say that apparently my dad was right after. Everything, you know, fuck it. Uh, I, I fucked up the last line of that, but yeah, my dad was right. So um, I stood up to a bully and here I am telling the story. Thank you. Give it up, give it up. <laughs>